Hello, my name is Allison Crawford. I'm the Access Services Librarian at Swisher Library at Jacksonville University. This poster presentation is titled Connecting Students to Jacksonville University's Institutional Repository. The Institutional Repository is housed within the Jacksonville University Library. I am in charge of uh, uploading the thesis and dissertation as they are um, sent to the library per se. In 2018, I was charged with investigating what platforms would be uh, suitable for um, our uh, institutional repository that we wanted to begin. So I decided to um, look into other universities that were similar to Jacksonville University, as well as other um, institutional repository platforms. So I looked at institutions that were our size, but then I also looked at other institutions so I could see what um, other platforms looked like at other universities, so I could see how they worked on, um, on different websites other than a promotional um, viewpoint. We also had uh, a trial period of different um, platforms throughout the time uh, prior to my uh, being employed at Jacksonville University. So I had previous um, information that I was able to look over, but not direct experience um, with with those um, platforms. So I um, also communicated with other uh, universities as well who were able to give me their input on uh, certain, certain aspects. I looked at uh, BPRS, I looked at ProQuest, I looked at DSpace, I looked at uh, Content DM as well as a few others. We personally at Jacksonville University had had a trial period with Content DM. We were able to upload a few uh, thesis that we had um, had in our possession as well as uh, experimented with our um, archives um, and seeing how that would look on our um, library website. Although we had nothing front facing to the public, so it was just um, on the back end, so we could experiment with how it would, uh, how it would run and how we could upload and, um, and how it would and how it would look. In the end, I determined that Content DM would work for our uh, needs um, with our size of our community that was sending in thesis um, and dissertation. We have uh, some departments that are sending in uh, thesis and they are very small departments at that. Um, mostly nursing, so they send in their DNPs. Um, they send in them throughout the year, so that is an ongoing process. Um, the marine science, they mostly send in at the end of the semester, mostly at the end of um, uh, spring term, which would be around May, um, and they trickle in maybe at the end of uh, fall term, um, but mostly at spring. And then we have a few departments that are still um, 
bringing in um, physical um, thesis. So it is my um, my challenge to um, bring those who are still sending in physical to um, transition them into um, the electronic. But um, as you can see to the graph to the right, um, we were pretty steady in the um, low numbers up until um, the latter part of 2021. And that was mostly because it was trying to get the word out. But then also, once we got our contract signed with Content DM, the pandemic hit. And so I was not able to really get the word out as as I would have liked. Um, so I was just sending out emails and uh, having to um, talk individually with people. And uh, of course the pandemic just kind of put um, a wrench into a lot of a lot of things. Um, but uh, the latter part of 2021 really kind of gave us a boost and it's gotten uh, steadily better um, since then. And so I expect our numbers to grow even more. Um, and that's very, uh, very nice to know. Um, the numbers are um, even better since, the, since I created this uh, poster. Um, we are now up to at least about 77 on our um, repository. Um, and uh, so that is um, good news. I have also created a uh, research guide that you see below the graph that gives students and faculty information as to how to upload the um, uh, thesis. Um, there's a submission form that they would um, complete as well as a way to upload that thesis. I also have an email address that is not my direct email, um, although they do know that it's me they are emailing, um, so that if they have any questions, they can email um, through institute or excuse me repository at ju.edu uh, to ask me questions. Um, also, they could um, attach their um, thesis in case their upload didn't work. Um, sometimes they are rather large and some, sometimes the uploading doesn't uh, quite pan out like it, like planned. Also on the research guide, um, I have the handbooks to the various departments with, um, that includes um, the requirements for um, the uh, thesis so that way the students have kind of a one one stop shop to um, what's required um, and I do try to update those um, every every couple years or as I know that there are updates to those handbooks um, and also of course the citation guides that we create at the library um, as well so um, just some little helpful um, uh, helpful guides to um, to help them along with their thesis. And that in a nutshell is um, how I have started the Institutional Repository and I hope to see you all around at the conference and um, thank you all uh, for showing up virtually if you are viewing this virtually. You can see my contact information down at the bottom of this poster and I welcome your emails and uh, and questions if you have any and um, thank you very much.